this is my project setup this is the stm32 nucleo board on top of the board with net toe ethernet shield is connected the shield has a Arduino compatible header. Through this header, group multi-channel base shield is connected. You see, this is an air quality sensor. This is the temperature and humidity sensor. And this guy is a digital power module, which can sense voltage and current and calculate power, energy, frequency and power factor. Let's discharge the SD card shield. This is how all the sensor modules are connected. This SD card shield is attached here because it stores the images captured by this camera module. This is a serial camera module and is connected to the base shield through the UART port. Ethernet TOE shield is connected to the internet through this ethernet cable. The board is taking power from the power bank. This is a 4 channel relay module and all these 4 lamps are connected to the nucleo board through this relay module. Now let's check the operation of the project. I developed an android application for observing the status of the appliances, their detailed power profiles and the environmental condition of the room. All the appliances can also be controlled from the app, even from a very far location. From the appliance status, we see all the loads are off now. From the power consumption section, we can see voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and power factor. From the bottom, we can see the temperature, humidity and air quality. It is rainy season here, so the air is very humid. And we see the air is fresh also. You see there is a button here. By clicking this button, we can see inside the home. On click of the button, the system pause the MQTT communication, capture an image using the camera and run the web server for 5 seconds. App sends HTTP GET request to the URL and receive the image. After 5 seconds, it closed automatically and resumed the MQTT communication. Now let's control the appliance. So bedroom light is on now and another light is on. So the current is showing 0.5, I believe it should be 0.05 instead, maybe there are some bug on the data processing, so the power is 6.30, so another load is on and it's showing uh, power 6.69. So now all the lamps are on. So yeah, I think the current is now the current value is right. So it's 0 0.18 amps and power is around 35.79. Power factor is 0 0.18. Now let's turn off a lamp. So bedroom fan is off, you see. So power is reduced to 7 power factor is 0.423 so all the lamps are off now 